my 10th rag braid this summer, and every one of my rag braids, except for one, I have ridden with, and he's my mom's cousin, so I don't know how he's, I mean, I guess he's like third cousin or something, with me, um, Gary, and he lives out in the Chicago area. In this photo, he's, he's 82 years young now, this photo he's probably 74, 75, 76, something like that, I'm not sure. I, I don't remember which year this is. Because he's written, we've started doing them in two, I started doing them, he's, he's done, I've done nine, he's done 27 of them. Holy cow. Yeah. And he used, so his whole career, he worked for American Airlines. He started off as a baggage handler, and then he moved up to like kind of work in the desk, and then towards the end of his career, he was uh, working with big accounts, like people, you know, big business accounts would, um, they were trying to, American Airlines was trying to get them to buy more um, American Airlines. So. That's what he did. Um, so anyway, that's that. That's Gary. Uh, he's he's his, his whole life. He's been super fit. He started off doing triathlons. Then something happened that he couldn't keep doing those. Then he switched to marathoning. And then he couldn't do that because he had knee trouble. Then he switched to tennis. Then he started with elbow trouble. So it's just cycling. And then now he's um, so he's super fit for his age. Well, for for any age. So and this is. This is 2019. This is his son-in-law, Bob. Um, uh, and I say this is his last rag bray. Not, he's, he's not deceased, but this was his last rag bray. Um, and the reason is, and then, just so you can see how, like, check out those guns. He, this is a gun show. He, he, people would ask me if he's ex-military because he's super fit. Um, so anyway, that's Gary. So, the reason I say this was last rag break. So 2022, we were get, we were all he was he was all set to go. Um, 7:15 a.m. Um, to get we what we do is we but we get on the bus, we bus to the beginning town, and then you slowly ride drive your ride your bike to your car. So 7:15, I went over to where we were loading. I saw Gary. And I said, "Hey, Gary, how you doing?" We chatted for a bit, and then I went back to go park my car where I was going to leave it for the week. Uh, I dropped off my stuff, and I started getting calls. Hey, Gary's having a problem. Uh, and this is at 7 through 17. I saw him 7 30, like he's having a problem. So I, I was like, oh, you know, it can't be that big. But I get there to where we're all lined, we're all getting ready for buses, and he's lying on the ground and he's got medical people around him. And sure enough, he has a heart attack. 7 30 a.m. on getting ready. He's all set to do it. We got on the bus at we were getting the bus at 8 a.m. He was all set to ride across the state get on his bike and ride back across the state, but he has a heart attack. So 7.30 a.m., he has a heart attack. By noon, he's had bypass surgery. He's gotten the defibrillator, which is the thing where you go clear. And he says he, he, he was awake for the first two of them. Then he, they, the, he, he was, so, uh, and you, he says you really do jump off the bed. Like it's, it's intense and it really hurts, so. Anyway, um, this is him at probably, so anyway, I, I'm, I'm like, I, I wasn't really picking it up. My dad's had heart issues, but it's never been that serious. Um, so I wasn't really picking up on that it was that serious. This is uh, me, I went to the hospital. Um, this was, we ended up in La Crosse, Wisconsin, um, 11 a.m. So from 7 to a.m., he was all set to ride till 11 a.m. He was in surgery. He was out of triple, or not triple, Single bypass surgery, maybe double. Bypass. He was out of bypass surgery, whatever. How many bypasses he had by noon? And then I don't have a picture of it, but if you can imagine all the TV dramas with medical TV dramas, he had by the evening. I so actually let's let's take a step back. I was like calling his daughters. He's got three daughters, and said, "Hey, by the way, your dad's had had a heart attack. He's not going to be doing right break." And the first person I called was I called her my niece, but he's. Uh, we're probably like fourth cousins because it's his granddaughter. So I'm calling her at seven, imagine seven thirty. You someone your age calling him at seven thirty a.m. Hey, your grandpa's had a heart attack, and I didn't have numbers for everyone, so she's calling everybody, and so then they they come. So by six o'clock, if you might have looked back to the medical drama, he had tubes hanging out of him. He was passed out. He had like this blanket that was um, an air mattress, and he was had a tube with. Pushing, pushing hot air into them. Uh, so, anyway, so he was all set to 
So throughout the week, I kept, I kept, so the reason this is my first five day reg bear is, so I went to go see him. So I didn't, so I circled back and met up with my reg bear group on Tuesday. So I rode the last five days. I kept getting updates from him. He was getting better throughout the week. And then on Friday, I get a message from his daughter, Linda. And she says, well, he was sitting there and he started getting agitated and he has a stroke. Oh my gosh. So, <clears throat> so like I said, during this week that he was all set, he'd been doing 30 mile rides, all set to ride a uh, rag ride. He has a heart attack and then he has a stroke. Now, if you ever want to have a stroke, be sitting in a hospital because they get to it really quickly and it doesn't affect you as much. <laughs> so anyway, and you can see he's got a new tattoo there. He does have a couple, uh, he's a big uh, Rolling Stones fan. So he has Rolling Stones tattoos, which he got in his 70s. And so these are, one of the things in Ragway is we get temporary tattoos. So I got him two temporary tattoos uh, to take to him. Um, so he has a stroke. Uh, then this was his neuroscience unit team. I said he helps him feel more comfortable. Miller, I wrote that in there, Miller High Life. <laughs> <laughs> and happy ending. I got to see him on Saturday after he had his stroke and after we done writing, so I saw him. Now, he's doing fine. Like I say, he's, he's alive. Um, I was at a wedding with him in October. He's not the same. Those of you who dealt with a stroke, survivors, he kind of shuffles when he walks. He doesn't respond to things quite as well. And he's probably ridden his last rag brag. He said he shouldn't be driving, but he is. Um, he's, his license goes till 2024 and he said, well, when it expires, I'm probably just gonna keep driving. Which <laughs> he shouldn't be, but I'm not the one to take. He's got three daughters that can take, take it away from him if he shouldn't have a license. So, um, that's the story I had to do my first five day. All the rest of them has been seven days. This next one will be seven days. Pro I, 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 we don't have any excitement with this one. That's my ragbrae story. That's it.